underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Brooklyn Nets as they play against the Phoenix Suns. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. T.A., it's all yours. Well, Kevin Durant said his days of trying to prove himself through basketball are done. He said, walking around with a chip on my shoulder is not my thing. I'm more relaxed in letting these days flow. I'm the best version of me. I don't need to prove who I am. I've been in it for too long. Kevin, this is a guy who is finally comfortable with himself. All right, thanks, D.A. And now a chance to take a look at some numbers for Durant. He's been playing a much bigger role in their offense over the past five games. It comes across in his usage rate, which has gone up during that stretch. We'll see if they continue to lean on him here tonight. So the opening lineup for the Suns. Sharich and Aiton at the four and the five. Rubio and Booker, they're the backcourt. And it's Oubre in at the three spot. And for the Nets, Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Durant is out there with DeAndre Jordan. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Scouting reports, very detailed. Clark, talk about the types of insights those scouting reports would reveal about your team and your opposition. Typically, player tendencies and team tendencies, how do they win? What areas are they really strong in? A team being excellent on the glass or tremendous in transition offense or very physical. I mean, just those types of nuggets that you would have for a team and then individual players so that you could try to position them to not be at their best by what you did to counteract them. Good explanation. Now, here's Irving. Following the miss by DeAndre Ayton. Here's Levert. It's tipped. Rubio against Irving. Rubio dishes to Ayton. And when you watch DeAndre Ayton, you really are just floored by how he moves. The amount of speed and agility he has for a player as solid as Ayton is doesn't come around very often. throw drops for Aiton yeah, and you see the raw talent Aiton has an intimidating big man with a high ceiling and, and a desire to grow Aiton hits them both Irving with the ball Harris outside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. It's Levert on the wing. Defended by Booker. A nice shot by Levert. And those physical attributes of Aiton are so imposing. Greg, who does he remind you of? I mean, for current players, you see a bit of Embiid and how they both move so fluidly for seven-footers. From the past... I see a bit of David Robinson in his game. Here's Booker. After the basket by Brooklyn. Misses from short range. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. And that one drops. Boy, Levert showing you his unselfishness there. I mean, if you're open, he loves getting you the ball. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Irving against Rubio. On the wing, Booker, stolen by Levert. At the elbow, Irving. And he makes that one. In the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Four-point game. The pass to Oubre. And there's the call on DeAndre Jordan. That'll be his second foul of the game. 
I think he has to play more conservative from this point on. I mean, that's two fouls already. Jared Allen's checked in for the Nets. Yo, who got Rubio? Rubio against Irving. A rebound by the Nets. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the ante. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up in that rim, didn't he? Yeah, you know, the, the refs are much more lenient with that kind of situation than they used to be. Allen outside. Over eight. Allen shot is off. And here's Charlotte. He'll bring it up for the Suns. Trailing by two. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Total embarrassment. I, I was shocked at how poorly they played. I, I think they were shocked. Yeah, and you know, those losses really hurt when you can't get anything going your way, everything's going against you. Very frustrating. Ball for Rubio. Break for the Phoenix Suns with a franchise high nine year playoff drought. There is pressure on this team to find their way out of that long rebuild. And their moves on draft night, they raised some eyebrows. So they've got some young talent, but, but can new coach Monty Williams turn them into a winner? Long suffering Suns fans certainly hope so. Both free throws good from Rubio. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Irving surveying the floor. Here's Levert. It's hauled in by the Suns. Rubio left side. Off on the layup. You know, right now they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Irving with it. Now guarded by Booker. Yep, that one goes in there. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Now, here's Rubio. Nine points, last game out. On the wing, Booker. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, that's how he rolls. I mean, intimidate the opponent right now. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And, fellas, I, I think you have to like his improvements over his free throw numbers from a year ago. It's not a significant number or, or a huge amount, but it's improvement nonetheless. And the Nets making a change here. Dinwiddie's checked in. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And with the signing of Durant and Irving, along with DeAndre Jordan, Greg, are the Brooklyn Nets now claiming the mantle for the top team in New York? Listen, they were already the better team a season ago after stealing the Knicks thunder in free agency, acquiring the superstar talent. They're poised to steal the Knicks cultural relevance as well. Down to five on the shot clock, and it's good. Two points. Yeah, you know what? Dinwiddie is very dependable at serving his teammates on the court. Seems like a natural leader. Dinwiddie against Rubio. On the wing, Booker. Passes it to Sharich. Tries it from nine. Almost, but it rolls out. The Nets have gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Dinwiddie's shot is off. The Suns have gone just two of seven so far. A little bit of a slow start for them. A nice shot by Booker. Attacking the defense with the pass there, Kevin. Rubio, the great vision. And no hesitation on the delivery. Brooklyn trailing. Now, Levert. 
He's coming off a 10-point game against the Wizards in Washington. 13 feet away. That one a little long. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Oubre and finished off by Oubre. And obviously a total team player. Sharich is a guy, if his teammate is open, he's going to get the ball. Burnett shooting 42% to begin this game. Dinwiddie against Rubio. To the inside. Allen passes to KD. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Now, here's Rubio. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Booker the pass to Ayton. Lock at six. Over Allen. And Ayton the bucket on the assist by Booker. Just terrific at executing in the paint. Ayton has a nice array of shots to choose from. It's the Nets now. It's a three-point game. And it's stolen by Ricky Rubio. To the middle, stolen by Allen. And now here's Durant, the fast break opportunity. And then Durant with the dunk. Allen with quick feet and showing you quick hands there that allowed him to come up with that pilfer. Dinwiddie against Rubio. Pass to Booker. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. And that's now seven points for Devin Booker. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Nets trail by three. There's Dinwiddie. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Lavert against Booker. A nice shot by Lavert. What a tough make that was by Lavert. Refused to be denied and great concentration. Dinwiddie against Rubio. Pass to Booker. And it's Durant with the rebound. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. The Suns have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Booker finds Sharnich. Ayton trying to break free. And Booker able to finish. Booker's got nine points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Good on the shot. How about the quick hands from Rubio? And then right into transition. Nets trail by five. Dinwiddie right side. Shot from the low block. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. For Phoenix, they've gone 8 of 15 from the field, shooting above 50% here tonight. And Sharich kicks to Booker. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Dinwiddie surveying the floor. KD's shot is good. Durant's got his third basket of the night. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And at this point, there simply is no doubt that Kevin Durant is one of the great shooters to ever play the game. The only question is just where on the all-time list will he land when we talk about the unstoppable score. Now that we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for the last handful of seasons for Allen. He's really made that a focus of his game these past few years, and it's paid big-time dividends for him. He's become a much better rebounder, and it's increased his value as a player by leaps and bounds. Phoenix with the ball. Three-point lead. 
And with Durant, perhaps the most amazing part, he can have quiet nights, Greg, of 30-plus points. Kevin, his scores are just so easy for him that you forget you aren't supposed to see seven-foot sharpshooters doing it. He can score from anywhere in any fashion and can hold his own with any player in history in terms of how unguardable he is. Clark, you were so prolific in so many areas of the game. Which part of basketball came the easiest for you? I think the rebounding piece. I always had a knack for sniffing out missed shots and had the size and timing and hands to chase down rebounds. But that was probably the strength of my game and the most unique part of it at an early age. And then the ball handling. My dad was 6'4 in the 50s, which meant you pretty much played inside. And he drummed into my head and my heart. Make sure you can handle that ball. So from the time I started playing, I was dribbling and making sure I could handle it. It served me well during my playing career. Both free throws good from Booker. Nets trail by five. Dinwiddie outside. The pass to Claxton. Prince up top. Six on the shot clock. Here's Dinwiddie. And it's good off the back rim and in. Tell you what, guys, you give him these opportunities and Dinwiddie with his shoot first mindset, he's going to fire away. Here's Jerome. Booker outside. Pass to Baines. Shoots the three. No good from Booker. Brooklyn's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. And Harris wide open. He shoots. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. Suns leading by three. Here's Jerome. No points in the game yet for him. Inside. Intercepted. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Chandler leading the charge. Sun shooting 47% from the field to start things off. Bridges against Dinwiddie. Shot from free throw range. Here's Baines. Goes back up. The shot, no good. The Nets go the other way with it. In transition, here come the Nets. Harris dishes to Dinwiddie. Doubled by Bridges. Dinwiddie passes to Chandler. Six to shoot. And here's Harris from the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. Harris has got the game tied up here for the Nets. You know, really good to see Harris playing with that kind of confidence because... You know, these shots will only help him get better. Booker outside. 104 left in the first. Diallo the pass to Baines. Over Claxton. Tries again. And the layup is good. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive glass. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Dinwiddie outside. Prince against Bridges. Prince misses. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Boy, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. Six second difference between shot and game clock. Dinwiddie outside. Pass to Chandler. To the paint. Knocked loose. Here's Jerome. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. He gets that one. Now it's a six point Suns lead. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Here now is Dinwiddie. 
And the last second attempt doesn't fall. And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And Kevin Durant talked about his teammates and the versatility this roster has. I like our depth. I like that we could play, you know, we could play big, we could play small. We could match up with a lot of different teams. And uh, it's just a matter of us going out there and playing consistent basketball. It's easier said than done. Uh, but we like where we are right now. We just got to continue to keep getting better. It's clear KD is very happy playing with this group of guys. That's why he signed here. But you can bet Durant is going to be leading the charge. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at the Suns' performance here, guys, uh, what have they been doing or not doing? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. Yeah, I like the way they play. They're looking to get up and down the court every time. Racehorse basketball here tonight. Strap it up. Don't look down. You'll miss something. And Phoenix, look at who they've got on the floor. Booker and Bridges are the wings. Frank Kaminsky is out there with the out, and it's Jerome in at the one. Nets trail by eight. And season four for Coach Kenny Atkinson with the Nets. You've got to be impressed with the job he's done in Brooklyn. Yeah, you know, Kenny is a hard worker. He's a bit of a grinder if you were trying to turn what category he might fit into. And you see that in his team. And, you know, he admits it. He's getting better just like his players are. And that's a great, great statement because uh, we're all hopefully getting better as we move forward. And, you know, guys, we've talked about Dinwiddie's height before. Well, he does a good job using that height with these strong finishes. Here's Jerome. Booker outside. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. And here in the second with about a minute and a half gone by some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum on its way from Irving for two and it's wide right it's off the rim another rebound hauled in they're hitting the glass with a lot of passion guys that's been the key to their lead I mean simply put the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference give them credit offensively they've been the more efficient team well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Outside Jordan. Pass to Chandler. That's tipped. Here's Bridges. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, for a team like the Nets, building without top picks, player development becomes critical. I mean, the Nets have made that a key focus for their franchise, and you can see the results paying dividends now. falls for Bridges. Mark, you were talking about the Nets player development. Guys like Spencer Dinwiddie and Joe Harris were signed as free agents. Yeah, and you know, guys, a coaching staff dedicated to taking them to the next level um, in terms of improvement and player development, um, the, the investment they make in their top-notch training facility, all of that focus paying off for them. Second free throw, no good. Nets trail by 12. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Kenny Atkinson, who's a native of Long Island, now has his dream job, coaching the Brooklyn Nets. He doesn't need praise or recognition. 
Instead, he's fueled by the fear of failure. He says, I always feel like I'm one banana peel away from never being in the NBA again. Kevin, he's got his team playing with that same determination. David, he sure does. Thank you very much. Brooklyn with the ball. After the Suns pick up two, Jordan kicks to Dinwiddie. Lobs it up for Jordan. No good. Shot missing. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at the at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. And the pass to Jerome. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Suns. It looks like they're ready to run, fellas. I mean, they haven't hesitated at all to get out on the break so far. And also, defensively, they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight. And, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum. First one falls for him. Clark, what would your dream backcourt look like? If you were going to design one, what would it look like? Well, they'd have good size and athleticism, somewhere in that 6-3 to 6-6 range, and the ability to make plays for themselves and others, and also be very solid at the defensive end. You know, you think about some guys that would fit that bill. I look at a guy like Malcolm Brogdon, who really gives it to you in multiple ways as a backcourt player. And I like the scoring of Damian Lillard. Agreed. And the first time out called of the game for Brooklyn. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. And the Suns making a change here. Charge has checked in. The list of contenders for the three-point contest is really interesting this year. Every one of these guys is capable of going lights out in a setting like that. Yeah, the field is almost set, and I wouldn't want to have to make a prediction. Uh, these are all fantastic shooters. It's just a matter of who gets hot on that day. You take a look at Harris, and at number four on the list, he's almost certain to take part in the contest this year. He's going to be excited to let those long-range shots fly in All-Star Weekend. And the fans have been right to give him so much love. He's deadly from beyond, and he has to be in this contest this season. The voting is just about over, so we'll keep updating you on how it's going. Some very deserving names at the top of this year's list. Yeah, no problems with the voting thus far. I think the fans and media have done their homework and picked the best shooters in the league. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. They trail by 18. Ayton against Jordan. Passes it to Levert. Lobs it up for Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, you got to respect the athletic reach of Jordan now. Throw it up, and he will bash in the alley-oop. And it's Phoenix's ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Pass to Bridges. Aiton up top. Rubio in the corner. Just four to shoot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And that is indeed a crafty move. Rubio stopping on a dime for the pull-up. The defender overreaches and overreacts. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And this season, he's maintained very good form at the line, shooting at about an 83% clip. And guys, I think that's a tribute to his work ethic. I mean, it's not by accident that he's enjoying the success he is at the free throw line. The first one falls. And you know, the thing about Rubio, Kevin, he's such an accurate foul shooter. That hasn't translated, though, to his shooting from the field. Both free throws good from Rubio. Nets trail by 18. 
They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Pass to Allen. And here's Levert. Floats one. He can't get it to go. Some solid defense from Ayton. And it's Rubio penetrating. Feeds it to Kaminsky over Allen. Second chance shot. And it's sent back by Allen. Boy, that expansive reach of Allen. I mean, so good at positioning himself and using his length and timing to stifle shooters. Irving for three. Connects from three-point range. Irving's got seven. Gets the shot he wants. The defense wasn't quite connected enough. They lost contact. Now the feed to Ayton. Here's Durant. That's good. And it's Levert with the assist. That's now eight points for KD. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you think his team would have the lead. Rubio taking his time here. Ayton with it. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Milwaukee. The Suns need to get a shot off. Rubio misses. Nets trail by 13. And you look at Carlos Levert, Clark out of Michigan, six foot seven, and a tremendous athlete. Kevin, he's one of my favorite players over the last handful of years coming out of college. He had some injury issues his last two seasons at Michigan, but he's an excellent two-way player. Outstanding energy and aggressiveness, and makes all kinds of plays at both ends of the floor and plays the game the right way. Here's Irving. The Suns getting the bucket. Takes a three. Sinks the triple. He's got ten. I love the three-point shooting of Irving. Excellent at dialing it in from deep. And you've got to respect his rank. Now, here's Rubio. He's got six. Charge outside. The pass to Ayton. To the wing right side. Here's the three. With D by Irving. I tell you what, for him, this has been a game to forget. But somehow they still find themselves with the lead. Levert the pass to Irving. Outside, KD for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got six rebounds now in the game. At the top of the key, Bridges. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Some defense, Clark, being played now by a lot of teams. It's amazing that even with that, the point totals just continue to rise. And you know what? I attribute the point totals continuing to rise to a couple of things. One, the volume of three-point shots that are being taken. And I think teams are playing at a little faster pace universally. You don't see as much walking the ball up the floor as I think you may have seen in years past. And he makes the first. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for the Suns. Kelly Oubre comes in for Sharich. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And that's trail by 14. Now Irving. He had 19 points in the win against the Wizards in Washington. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. Second shot opportunity. Allen, that's good. Well, I tell you, this guy just does not quit on the boards. His energy is contagious, especially on the offensive glass. Bridges misses. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Nets. Allen outside. Irving passes to Claxton, and he dunks it down. 
strong move to the 10, trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, G.A., right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative and make something happen. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Attacking and transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Now, here's Rubio. He's got six. Pass to Bridges. An easy two points on the layup. Bridges has got 10 points now just in this quarter. Yep, you know, after a scoreless first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. Nets trail by 10. Outside Irving. Allen up top. And it's blocked. And using that wide reach to reject shots. Aiden can't afford to throw up weak stuff around the big fella. Throw. Good, Ubre. And both free throws. Good for Ubre. And for the Nets, they're shooting 43% from the floor. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here, and not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups, sure, but it's been a nonstop parade to the foul line. And a moment here to highlight some of the best and brightest from beyond the strike. We take a look at Harris, dangerous player from three-point land, a great talent with a great release. What a percentage that is for him from three-point range this season. His deep touch is about as good as you're going to see. Here's Claxton, and there's the call on DeAndre Ayton. That's his first foul. Outside Irving. Drops it in from 11 feet. Irving's got eight points here in this quarter. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Now, here's Bridges. Ten points for him. Here's Hayton. And that one hits back iron. And that's trail by 10. Outside Irving. There's a minute 47 left now here on the second. Nice concentration to hit the double clutch layup. And guys, once Irving finds that groove, it's really just fun to watch him go to work. It just no fear will take any shot out there on the floor. Now, here's Bridges. Here's Aiton. Hits the three-point bomb. Aiton's got 11. And here is Irving. 14 points for him. He dishes it to Harris. 106 left to play in the first half. The Nets working the ball around now. Just five to shoot. Here's Durant. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Oh, a tough quarter for him offensively. He hasn't been able to give his team a lift when they need it. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. Brooklyn making some changes. Wilson Chandler's checked in for Jared Allen. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. And Spencer Dinwiddie subbed in for Joe Harris. 
Diallo. He's checked in for Phoenix. Devin Booker comes in for Bridges. Now here's Dinwiddie. Nine point game is last outing. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half of the game. The shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that basket. I can't find an excuse for letting Dinwiddie get this positioning inside. I mean, once he has it, you're toast. Here's Jerome, covered by Irving. Pass to Baines. Here's Jerome. Pass to Booker. Here's Oubre. Prince with the defensive effort. And so it's Phoenix ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks a lot, Kyrie. What got you going in the first? Uh, my teammates were just spotting me, setting the screen, and just stay aggressive not only for myself but for them. Uh, you know, we are kind of in a hole in the first quarter, kind of sluggish, came out in the second quarter, kind of sluggish, but just got to pick it up on the defensive end. That's where it starts. Kyrie, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 15 points, four rebounds, and one assist. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns. Defensively going in, you game plan against Devin Booker. But he can demolish your plan quick when he gets that shot going. And guess what? He's been unstoppable. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Brooklyn? Well, I think their problem is rebounding, Ernie. You know, when you're trying to come back in a game, every possession counts. Because each possession can turn into points, and you need to cut that deficit quickly. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Nets trail by nine. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And Brooklyn looking who they've got. Irving and Lavert are at the one and two. Durant is out there with Joe Harris. And it's Jordan in at the five spot. And here's Rubio following the three-pointer by Kyrie Irving. Booker against Lavert. Five to shoot. Back to Booker. Fires for three. And that's collected by DeAndre Jordan. Jordan's got four rebounds in this game. Aiton wide open. Good on the three-point shot. Aiton's got 14 points. And this is something Aiton has to keep developing. In this era, big men have to possess an outside jumper. Now here's Jordan. Poked away. KD passes to Jordan. Lavert with a wide open look. No good on the three. Suns leading by nine. Here's Oubre. Here's Hayton. He goes up again. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. Irving misses. The Suns have gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Sharch dishes to Rubio. That three off the mark. 
he is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And, and that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Into the third we go. Two minutes in now. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. The pass to Sharich. Aiton in the corner. Six on the shot clock. Here's Rubio. Off target with his three. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. And, you know, he's a guy who knows how to defend the three-point shot. He's not going to just give it to you. He's going to make you earn it. Rubio against Irving. Shoots over Rubio, and the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to seven on the bucket from Irving. Uh, I mean, the airtight handle of Irving, just leaving defenders in his dust. Greg, you get so caught up in how great Durant is at scoring that you forget sometimes about his other terrific offensive skill. You know, Katie doesn't really get a lot of recognition for his passing, but he has fantastic vision. Uh, I mean, arguably, he might be the most underrated superstar ever. Sees so many double teams and does a great job of getting the ball out to open teammates. Brooklyn's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Rubio against Irving. Rubio, the pass to Book. This is it to Uber. Be on the clock. Harris with it. Now guarded by Aiton. Three-pointer, Lavert. Offensive rebound. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Sharich. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's hard to avoid fouling Durant, but the problem is he hits nearly 90% of his free throws for his career. And he might not be a household name just yet, but Joe Harris is one of the game's true dead-eye marksmen. You can make the case he's the most underrated shooter in the league. First one falls for him. Maybe not the most famous beard in the league, but Joe Harris's beard last year, Greg, drawing some notice in the NBA. The lumberjack look belying his feathery touch. Good size and strength, enabling him to play the small four position when needed. Frank Kaminsky, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Really always a plus to have the big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. And the Suns call time. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Here's Booker. And that time, also a missed shot. The Nets have gone three of seven on field goal attempts here in the second half. Irving with it, guarded now by Rubio. Durant for three. Phoenix grabs the miss. Kaminsky's got four rebounds in this game. Booker dishes to Ayton. Rebounded by the Nets. Jordan's got his eighth rebound here tonight. On the wing, Irving. Covered by Rubio. Here's Jordan. It's good. This game is all even. Jordan very efficient in the paint because of his length. Close to the bucket, he's hard to deal with. Rubio against Irving. Pass to Aiton. He's looking for Kaminsky and finds him. And he uses the glass on the layup. 
Kaminsky's got his first points of the game. Hey, you can put all the pressure you want on Frank Kaminsky, but sometimes the fact that he's just a little longer gives him the advantage inside. Now here's Irving. 22 points for him. And stolen by Eaton. To the inside. The jump hook. The second chance effort. He takes it up and lays it in. Eaton's got five points in the quarter. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Suns. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. And also, I've been extremely impressed with their interior D. Their rim protection has been as good as it gets. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Now here's Booker. He's got 15. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. Shooting two. Free throw good Booker. So for the Nets, Jared Allen's checked in for Durant. Torian Prince comes in for Joe Harris. And Dinwiddie subbed in for Lavert. Both free throws good from Booker. The Nets trail by four. Prince outside. The Nets working the ball around now. Allen kicks to Irving. Lock at six. Kicks it out to Prince. A three-pointer off the mark. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. The officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give them any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Take break. Take break. And he knocks down the first one. Ricky Rubio checked in for the Suns. Free throws good from Bridges. We're still waiting for that first miss from the line this half. 100% since halftime? Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Rubio against Irving. Here's Booker. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. Rubio's got three assists now in this one. The Nets trail by six. Dinwiddie with it. He's got six. Pass to Irving. Rubio with the rebound. Phoenix has gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. And stolen by Prince. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Prince has got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Irving against Rubio. Diallo the pass to Book. And the fouls on Shep Diallo. That is his first foul of the game. And the Nets making a change here. Chandler's checked in. And Phoenix also making a switch. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Kaminsky. And here's Chandler who brings it up for the Brooklyn Nets. 
It's a three-point game. Dinwiddie against Booker. Feeds to Chandler. Over Diallo. That's good from Chandler on the assist by Dinwiddie. Dinwiddie's got three assists in the game. The Sun shooting for the game at 42%. Now Rubio, he's got six. Now the pass to Book, jacks up a three. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And Brooklyn will come the other way. Well, it's definitely within striking distance now. Yeah, but they've got to make each possession count on both sides of the floor. Prince against Bridges. Here's Baines and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Baines has got his first bucket in this one. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. Dinwiddie, the bounce pass. Prince outside with a tie. It's held in by Diallo. Diallo's got five rebounds tonight. Dinwiddie with the steal. Chandler dishes to Irving. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Suns. They led by as many as 18 points. Here's Booker. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. Nets trail by five. There's Dinwiddie. He has six. He kicks to Chandler. Addition out to Irving. And he banks in the layup. Irving's got 26 points. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Booker outside. Passes to Diallo. Clock at four. Shot from six. And Bridges finishes it off. Bridges has got 14 points. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. Irving got a hand on it. Booker looking around. Yep, it counts. Booker's got eight here in the quarter. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. There's Dinwiddie. Devin Booker picking up that last basket. Irving drives in. That one falls coming off Dinwiddie's feet. Dinwiddie's got four assists now tonight. Phoenix leading by five. We've got 118 left here in the third quarter. Booker against Dinwiddie. And Booker kicks to Rubio. Down low. There's Diallo. That one goes in. Diallo's got his second bucket of the night. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Outside Jordan. Back to Irving. And a miss there on the triple. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Greg, and that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Here's Baines. And the layup is good. And the Suns lead by nine. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the pace. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. Rubio against Irving. Pass to Bridges. Now here's Booker. Defense is right there. Rubio outside over Irving. Good D by Irving. Here's Prince, uses the glass to finish the layup. And now just a five-point Phoenix lead. 
And so it's Devin Booker making highlights for Phoenix. They've leaned on him for offense, and he hasn't let him down. He's now up to 23 points today. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Leading by five. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. On the court for the Suns, Rubio and Booker. They're the backcourt. Oubre out there with Jack Diallo. And it's Baines in at the five. Two on the clock. Oubre, no good on the triple. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. And slam dunk by Jordan. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. Here's Ruby. Following the basket by DeAndre Jordan. No good from Booker. Nets trail by three. Prince outside to tie it up. They get it back. And Jordan slams it home. Yeah, Jordan is aggressive as a rebounder. He uses his massive body, athleticism, and long arms to wreak havoc on the glass. So for the Nets, Harris comes in for Torian Prince. And it's Lavert in for Kyrie Irving. And Phoenix also making a switch. Andre Ayton's checked in for Diallo. One drops, he ties it up. And this spot has always been Jordan's biggest drawback. Uh, he's never been able to make his free throws at, at even a modest rate, and teams are never afraid to put him on the line. Here's Oubre. That's in, coming off an assist from Rubio. Yeah, clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. Yeah, you want to get those sure things down the stretch, and that close to the bucket, he is a sure thing. Nets have gone two of three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. So they take the lead. And the Nets lead by one. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Well, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's Oubre. Now, here's Aitman. Booker, right side, shoots over Levert. No good from Booker. That's as high percentage as it gets for him. I mean, the defense really has to be mindful of not giving him that kind of space to operate. Dinwiddie finds Levert. Nice ball mover by Brooklyn. Harris's shot is off. Phoenix has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Booker trying to free himself up. Some solid defense from Harris. Brooklyn's gone 1 of 3 from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Dinwiddie's shot is off. The Suns trailing. That's tipped. Booker inside. Guarded by Harris. Stolen by Levert. Here's Dinwiddie, nailed from three-point land. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle steps for the Nets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. Something that's also benefited them tonight are the turnovers they've forced and the points that have come along with those forced turnovers. And the upcoming schedule for Brooklyn. On Wednesday, they'll be playing against Draymond Green and the Golden State Warriors. Then on Saturday, they'll be matching up against Kyle Lowry and the Toronto Raptors. And just looking ahead, 
to what's on tap. There are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Free throw, good, Ubre. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Durant's checked in for the Nets. And the Suns also making a change. Charge has checked in. And both free throws, good for Oubre. Brooklyn's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them have fallen. Dinwiddie against Rubio. And here is Durant. Wide open. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Durant's got the lead up to four now for the Nets. And it's Rubio with the ball for the Phoenix Suns. Oubre on the wing. Here's Sharich. Here's Ayton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Last season, the Suns made DeAndre Ayton the number one overall pick in the draft. They had no hesitation, Greg, in making that call. And when a player like Ayton, who was in the rookie of the year combo from the get-go, is available, you have to take him. Not only is the upside sky high for Ayton, but he was an impact player from day one for the Suns. The free throw drops for Eaton. Hits them both. The Nets with the lead. Dinwiddie with it. Here's Levert. Here's Jordan. It's in and he's a very efficient five for six on the game. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. Now Rubio. Pass to Booker. Shoots over KD. Here's Hayton. Back to Rubio. The tray. Brooklyn with the rebound. Jordan's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Here's Levert. That shot no good. Good D by Booker. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have. You're right. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And it's a seven-point Brooklyn lead. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. There's the pass to Aiton. Stolen by Levert. And here we go. Dinwiddie heading to the hoop. Up again. And even after two offensive rebounds, they just can't get the lid off. Floats it up for Sharich. That's serving it up on a the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. There's Dinwiddie. Outside, KD. From deep. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Here's Oubre, and finished off by Oubre. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. And can put the other team on its heels. We'll see how it plays out. And so it's Brooklyn with it, following the score by Phoenix. Dinwiddie right side. Passes it to Durant. Just five on the clock. Back to Dinwiddie. The offensive rebound. 
Outside for KD. No good from outside. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Oubre finds Rubio. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. And you wonder if it's a good idea to foul Rubio there. I mean, he shot well under 40% from the field for his career, but at the line, he's north of 80%. So Ricky Rubio nails both of them. Guys, they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. Yeah, and you can't afford to let that thing get any slimmer. Dinwiddie against Rubio. And he drops in the layup off the glass. And that's now 11 points for Spencer Dinwiddie. Boy, it's so difficult to corral Dinwiddie, even when you get physical with him. He finds a way to power through. Count it. 14 points for Kelly Oubre. Shots are just flowing for him right now, having a really strong court. Rubio against Dinwiddie. Harris passes to KD. Over Sharks. Accurate with a jumper from the elbow. Durant's got four points now in the quarter. And Durant has just such a fluid release. Very efficient shooting the ball from that mid-range. Booker right side to tie it up. A rebound by the Nets. Durant's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Pass to Levert from the arc. Oubre pulls it in. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Rubio against Dinwiddie. The try by Rubio. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Making a concerted effort to attack. Rubio draws contact. He'll go to the line. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Mikael Bridges checked in for Oubre. in two from the line that time and the Nets with possession here it's a one-point game now a timeout call by Brooklyn and team strategies closely guarded one aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to yeah typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout it might be major or it could be just a slight tweak And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch Kenny Atkinson's message to his team. He really got after him in the huddle. He said, look, you can rest after the game. You got to put it all out there if you want to win this one. Back to you guys. All right, David, thanks. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Back to Jordan. Shot clock at six. Levert with it. Now guarded by Booker. Launches a three. Rebound by the Suns. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Booker's got 25 points in the game. Game winding down, and they just keep changing lead. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. Now, here's Dinwiddie. Pass to Levert. 
He feeds it to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Hey, you know, Kevin, there's a reason why Jordan's a high percentage shooter. Shooting percentage, a function of the kind of shots you get, he opts mainly for dunks. And the Suns call time here. Tremendous versatility for Karis LeVert offensively, Clark, and defensively. He can play multiple positions. Boy, I like that about him too, Kevin. 6'7", he's a gifted scorer, uh, can make plays when the ball is in his hands. The Nets have a number of ball handlers, and that's what Coach Kenny Atkinson believes in. To get a lot of guys that can make plays and do it for each other and together, and we've got something good. Here is Rubio. After the basket by Brooklyn. And there's the pass to Sharich. Shoots over KD. And it's Phoenix scoring again. Sharich not backing away from having the ball in his hands in a big spot. Well done. Brooklyn trailing. Timeout called the Nets. You gotta like what Devin Booker is doing in this one. Boy, he's been killing them all night, and the defense looks like it's practically packed it in. Durant finds Dinwiddie. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, before becoming the 38th pick in the 2014 NBA draft, Dinwiddie played three really good years of collegiate basketball at Colorado. And the first one drops. And he makes both free throws. Timeout call for Suns. They've been committing a lot of turnovers, and I imagine that's exactly what they're talking about right now. They need to tighten it up. The Suns have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. Here's Rubio. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It goes on Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. And, you know, the defense gets their money's worth on that foul. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. He's off on the first. And the second free throw, good. And you can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. Harris against Bridges. Poke loose. That's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. It's Jordan on the wing. He's covered by Aiton. And Dinwiddie gets it to go on the assist by Jordan. 16 points for Spencer Dinwiddie. Pass to Aiton. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Dinwiddie. Banked in off the glass. And it's a five-point Nets lead. Wanting to take on more of a leadership role, Dinwiddie. Delivering in critical moments. Big time play. He is showing signs of maturity in these moments. It's clear that Aiden takes pride in coming through for his team. And Ricky Rubio gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Irving's checked in for Spencer Dinwiddie. 151 left in the fourth. Irving against Rubio. Durant. Charge grabs the board. Charge has got five rebounds tonight. 
Rubio against Irving. Now, here's a defense right on him. Harris on the double team. Five to shoot. This one for three. A three-pointer is right on target. Rubio's got it all tied up now for Phoenix. And big props, major props to Rubio. Being aggressive, making plays with the game heating up. That's what you want your point guard to do. Make it happen. Now, here's Durant. Harris outside. They get it again. And it's Jordan with the jam. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for him. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changers. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Booker the bounce pass. Here's Aiton. Good! A huge shot to tie it up. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now here's Durant. Pops it up for Jordan. Yes! And Durant just great at picking apart the defense. When they leave one of his guys open, he is quick to get the ball to Rubio against Irving. Rubio, the pass to Sharic. And here we go. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. Can't sink it. And that was an important free throw. And he commits the intentional foul. That, that's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. Use every second you can on the clock here. and that will put them up by two. And the versatility of Durant. Off the charts. Shoots, rebounds, defends. He's the total package. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a three-point game. Those were pressure pack free throws. And he looked as cool as he could be. So big to give them that three-point lead. And the Suns call time. They're trailing by three. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Either way, they got to score the ball. 16 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Hayton. Shoots over LaVert. Count it! And that shot brings them to within just one. He is a great kid. I I'd love to see this from a stepping up in the big moment, letting his talent take over. Gets the first, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a three-point game. Well, you know what? I think you got to be excited about Levert's potential. This kid seems to get better and add more to his game every year. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. You don't want to force it, though. Still need to get a quality look. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, I, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. And so it's Brooklyn who scrapes by with the win. What a show they put on here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win. And, and really, it's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much. Kyrie, big numbers for you tonight. And I always wonder what it's like to be in a zone like that offensively. It feels amazing. Uh, you know, 
know, more importantly, we got the win, and I couldn't have done it without my teammates. They did a heck of a job of competing every uh, every single minute of this game. It took everybody's effort from our bench. You know, it took a 15-man effort, and I'm glad we got the win. 15 men, but one man was a difference. Thanks, Kyrie. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our terrific 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.